Hey there boys and girls, like Skillfaker here and welcome back to another CSGO video. Today I want to help you guys to find your perfect sensitivity for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. For that I will be talking about a couple of things that you need to know in order to find it. First of all we will be talking about the settings. This is basically how you set up your game, your operating system and also your drivers on your mouse. For that we will also try to disable mouse acceleration and we will need a mouse acceleration fix, which is the first point. After that we will be talking about the hertz or pulling rate of your mouse, then about the DPI and in-game sense formula in order to determine your real sensitivity. After that we will be talking about the best DPI, raw input and in-scope sensitivity. For the part 2 we will be talking about the beginner mistakes, so especially if you're new to CS and have played other, like shooters before, not necessarily all the skills you've um, learned and developed there will translate over very well to CS, so we'll be talking about why your high sensitivity is not the same as a high CS sensitivity. I will tell you why to lower it, and then we'll be talking about common sensitivities among pro players. Last but not least, for the second point we'll be talking about the 360 mousepad range, which is also something very important. So for our third part, our third point, we'll be talking about the explanation of sensitivities. This will basically be, yeah, as the point says, I will be explaining the sensitivities. I will talk about pros and cons of a high sensitivity, of a low sensitivity, also what is a balanced sensitivity, which is probably what the, uh, the thing you'll be aiming at in the end. I will talk about arm versus wrist movement and how it will be affecting your sensitivity, as well as the palm, claw and fingertip grip that you might have, which will also affect how you will have to choose your sensitivity. Last but not least, for that point, we'll be talking about sensitivity limits. For our last point, point four, or last part, we'll be talking about finding your sensitivity. This is actually the part where you have to be in-game, do the tests, do everything there is to do in order to find it out. There will be uh, stuff like tracking targets while standing still, tracking targets while moving, snapping two targets when you're aiming, and also um, basically how you will have to complete all of these tests in order to determine which sensitivity might be right for you. The next point will be sensitivity for the role you play, which again is something that you have to keep in mind. So certain sensitivities are better for certain roles like AWPing or entry fragging or stuff like that. It's not very super duper important, but it's still important enough to mention it. Last but not least I will tell you how to stay consistent and what to do in order to not fuck up your sensitivity. But I would say let's get it going with, with the first point, the settings. So first of all, go to Google and type in mouse excel fix. It should already pop up the first thing www.mousexcel.blogpost.com and you just click on it and this is a mouse acceleration fix. So why do we do not want to have mouse acceleration? For example if I have a non-accelerated mouse sensitivity I can move my mouse from here to here always with the same distance on my mouse pad. If I have acceleration though, if I move my mouse slow it will basically land like here and if I move it fast it will land on my third screen over there or something like that. So you want to be consistent and for that you want to disable mouse acceleration. I know there are a couple of people who do use acceleration and they're good with it, but if they would disable the acceleration and learn it with a normal sensitivity, they would be even better, trust me. So for that we want to disable mouse acceleration. And even though if we already disabled all there is, there is still some hidden acceleration in Windows sometimes, in Windows 10, 8.1, 8 and 7, that we want to get rid of. Also, we want to get rid of the, enha the enhanced pointer precision. Um, for that, basically right here, it's a very easy to read step-by-step -step guide, so we'll not go over it right here in this video, because I will link it in the description down below, and you will just follow the steps. It's Trust me, it's super easy to install, super easy to do, and very easy to understand. And that's the first step in order to get rid of the mouse acceleration that we would have in our operating system. Next up, we'll be talking about the drivers of your mouse. So I have a Razer Death Adder. So I have the um, the Razer Synops program right here. For me, I have the DPI right here, the acceleration right here, and the polling rate, the hertz right here. This is basically the, the polling rate or hertz that you want to set up. And you want to set it up as high as possible. For me right here, it would be 1000. Like that, you will be not missing out on any information that will be translated over from your mouse to your screen or to your computer. And it will give you the most consistent experience. For me right here again, the Acceleration right here is disabled all the way to zero and I have a DPI of 1600 which might be very high for a couple of people right here and I will talk about that in a second when we're skipping over to our next point, the DPI and in-game sensitivity formula. For that I will pull up my little handy calculator. So um, don't be confused, I'm German, that's why there's it's saying this instead of calculator. But for example, if I have a 0.65 sensitivity right here 
And I have a DPI of 1,600, so we multiply that times 0611. I will get 1,040, which is my real sensitivity. So if I would be playing at 400 DPI instead of 1,600, and I would have an in-game sensitivity of 2.6, this would also equal 1040. So this is actually the real sensitivity that you will have to know in order to basically switch DPI and sensitivity, but still have the same actual real sensitivity that you have to use your mouse. Again, it's not quite as easy as that. It's a little bit more complicated and I will link another article in the description down below for you guys in order to find out more about DPI if you're interested in that, because DPI actually stands for dots per inch. So the thing with that is that if you have, for example, 400 dpi and one in-game sensitivity, so we do our little calculation again, times one, we would have a real sensitivity of 400. If we would have 0.5 in-game sensitivity and a dpi of 800, again, times 800 right here, it would again be 400. So in the end, your real sensitivity would stay the same, but it's a little bit more different. The things that you want to keep in mind when we, were talk when we are talking about the best, uh, best sensitivity best DPI right now, sorry guys, is that you want to stay close to the native DPI, or better said, use the native DPI of your mouse, because there are a couple of mice that have maybe a DPI of actually 1000, which is their native um, DPI, but they are advertised as, as a 10,000 DPI mouse, and basically how they're doing this, they're interpolating what the sensor is seeing by 10, like that you're skipping out on lots of stuff and it's not really necessary to do that. The only time when you're really like benefiting of a really high DPI, I mean 10k is pretty much every time overkill, but the only time you're really um, benefiting from it is when you're using a very, very high sensitivity as well as a very high screen resolution because you want to cover all the pixels on your screen and you don't want to skip on them. However, if you're using a low sensitivity as well as a low screen resolution or a normal screen resolution, a normal DPI, something like 400, again, right here, 400 should be enough most of the times. I have a 1080p screen and I'm also playing on 1080p, so that's why I feel that um, 1600 is better for me. So yeah, basically just keep in mind, if you have a high sensitivity and a high screen resolution, you want to have a high DPI as well, and you don't want to go over your native DPI. You basically will just have to Google your mouse and look up what sensor it has, and it will basically tell you what the native DPI of your mouse is, and you don't want to go above that. If you have a low sensitivity, low screen resolution, you can always go with a low DPI as well. Let's talk about the next point, which would be raw input. For that we need to hit up our game, which again is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So I'll just boot it up right here, and I hope the screen will also record it, because I haven't tried this recording method now, or yet. So we're in CSGO right now, you want to go to Options, Keyboard and Mouse, and we'll be talking about the first area right here. So you want to enable raw input, because you want to pull all the information straight from your mouse, instead of going something through a program, through your operating system, and then always calculating another sensitivity, adding that, and again calculating that. You want to get it straight to the game, and basically only have to worry about your DPI of the mouse and your mouse sensitivity right here. Um, personally, I have my mouse sensitivity, my mouse zoom sensitivity right here, this one, set at 0.65. If you set it to 1, it will be exactly the same in scope and in zoom as the normal mouse sensitivity right here. Um, this might help you to get more consistent, again, depending on how you're playing, if you're more of a passive player or more of an aggressive player, but I felt like also by having played other games that 0.65 is the number for me because I want to have a different sensitivity than what I have when looking around while I'm being in the scope, because it helps me playing the, the style I have. And these are basically the things that you have to set up first in order to um, really um, get to the proper stuff about like the what's the sensitivity and how to find it out. So this was the first part. So I would say we should go straight over to the second part. So just click on the link below or in the somewhere on notation probably and watch the beginner mistakes, after that the explanation of sensitivities and then the last step, finding out your real sensitivity.